Have you ever gotten a text with gibberish from an unknown number? Maybe it was a prank or a weird autocorrect incident. But what if that nonsensical message could actually expose a major weakness in your favorite website? That's the power of fuzzing. It's like sending a bunch of those wacky texts to a website on purpose. This video dives into the world of fuzzing. We'll explain how fuzzing works, introduce you to a popular tool called Fuff, and even show you how to use it yourself. Fuzzing is a way to find problems in software by giving it unexpected inputs. For example, we might try random file names on a website to see if they exist, or we could enter random things into a login form to see if it breaks the website. During a fuzzing test, we throw lots of random inputs at the software. Then we watch to see how it reacts. If the software does something weird or shows errors, it means there might be a problem. Fuff, short for Fuzz Faster You Fool, is a tool made for security experts to uncover flaws in web applications. It works by sending loads of requests with different data to a target. Then, Fuff checks the responses and tells us what went right and what didn't. This tool is handy for testing various vulnerabilities like input problems and access control issues. It's super fast and flexible too. We can tweak what data to test and how to send requests to the web app. Fuff is a big deal in bug hunting. If you're aiming to be a bug bounty hunter, you'll likely use Fuff a lot. If you're on Kali or Parrot, you're in luck because Fuff is already there when you install those systems. But if you're not, you'll need to set up Go first. Here's the link to get that done. After you've got Go set up, you can get Fuff by running this command. Once Fuff is installed, you can confirm it by using the help command. This command serves as a handy reference when working with Fuff. To find hidden files on a website using Fuff, You'll need to provide it with the URL of the website and a word list containing file names you want to search for. Here's how you can do it. If you're not familiar with what a word list is, essentially, it's just a list of words. In this case, file names we want to find on the website. Here's a simple word list you can use. In the URL, you'll notice the fuzz placeholder. This gets replaced with the words from the word list. For example, if index.html is in the word list, the URL becomes target.com slash index.html. Fuff then checks this URL and tells us if the file exists based on the website's response. Here's a sample response from Fuff. This is how Fuff works. It uses the word list to try different file names on the target website. There are other ways to use Fuff too, which we'll explore next. Fuff offers options to adjust request methods and tweak headers which comes in handy when fuzzing APIs and specific endpoints of web applications. For instance, you can send a post request with a customized header and a JSON payload. In this command, xPost specifies the request method as post. H sets a custom header specifying the content type as JSON. D provides a JSON payload with a placeholder fuzz to be replaced with words from the word list. W specifies the word list to be used. U sets the URL endpoint to fuzz. With these options, you can tailor Fuff to fuzz APIs and web application endpoints more effectively. When dealing with large web applications, the results from Fuff can be overwhelming. To manage this, you can use various filters and options to narrow down the results. For instance, to only display responses with a status code of 200, you can employ the dash SC flag. Additionally, you can save the scan results to a text file which can then be imported into other tools like Metasploit or Burp Suite. Use the dash of flag to save the results to a text file. These options help you manage and analyze the results effectively while scanning large web applications. Fuff offers a wide array of capabilities beyond what we've covered. Fuff can scan directories recursively to uncover deeper layers of content. It also supports not only get and post, but also other HTTP methods for versatile testing. And it can also be integrated smoothly with tools like Burp Suite for streamlined workflows. These examples merely scratch the surface of Fuff's capabilities. For a deeper dive, I recommend exploring the comprehensive documentation here. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.